Ryan, yeah, thanks for coming on. Got you on because you've been out and uh, spoken to a couple of the Parramatta boys this week. Daryl, <laughs> settle down, Daryl. This should be a problem. Shit. You know what my record's like, Fatty? Yeah. <laughs> never well, been like it doesn't a, work. Never been with a good sort ever. Oh, oh. What about Dahl? Are you trying to say that Dahl's not a good sort? <laughs> Not really, sort of. <laughs> Mate, she's pretty handy. Yeah, she's handy. I think you're batting above you. Anyway, we That's won't about go it. No, Don't go there, Fatty. Kylie, you spoke to uh, both Jared Hayne and Benny Smith. You've done a little story about where they live. Um, but you also spoke to Jared about his footy, and in particular in playing 5-8. Yeah, I did, uh, Fatty. I spoke to him about how he was feeling at playing at number six uh, tomorrow night, and this is what he said. I guess it's it's a new number. That's about it. Um, I, I've obviously played a lot of you know first, second receiver the last um, two years. So you know I've I've enjoyed it, and I guess you know as a team we haven't been going too well this year. So it's um, you know it's it's you know, sort of like a last resort to, to, to throw me there and and see how we go. I think the last you know the last month of footy we've been we've been playing pretty well, but we just you know, haven't been able to put the icing on the cake. Pretty much, you know we've. Uh, um, been in front of some you know pretty good teams but just haven't been able to finish them so disappointing but um you know tomorrow night's a, a big game for us and a must win. Actually it will be interesting to see how he goes. I think he'll be successful there now. We also spent a time with Jared and Ben in their home. I did. How'd I, that go? I, it was amazing. I, I felt um you know very lucky to be there and they are lovely guys and also quite funny yeah. and I think maybe after their footy careers wind up they might have a, a job as actors. Really? Yeah. Maybe even on this show. Maybe. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Were they tidy? They were very tidy. Yeah. Can you believe that? What's wrong with Australian males? Well maybe they cleaned up before, before we got there. I don't know but they, they were great. All right let's have a look at Kylie in action with the boys. We're about to get a guided tour inside the home of rugby league superstars Jared Hayne and Ben Smith. So let's go see how they live. Here's Hayne, step, step, in to score again. Inside to Smith, try to Parramatta. Belted by Benny Smith. Hey, Jared. How are you going? How are you? Well, thank Come you. Through. Thanks for having me. No worries. So, where's Ben? Uh, Ben's in the lounge room watching some TV. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, hey, Ben. Uh, the lounge room. You've got a pool in your lounge room? Uh, yeah, it's um, something we do. Something, it's a bit different, you know, we like to be a bit unique out in Paris. So. House rules. I'm, I'm real big on noise. Um, I remember when I first moved in with Benny. <laughs> he, um, for some reason, he thought 7 a.m. everyone should be awake, so he had the surround sound blasting. And <laughs> I try to enforce that Hainsey doesn't use my, my toilet, but he doesn't really listen to that. And I didn't realise you had another flatmate. Yeah, oh no, it's just my musician. Um, you know, when I come home from training, hard day at work, I like to, to, to relax to some music. Oh wow. So no, he's really good. Um, do you have any requests? Oh, well if you ask, maybe Ryan and Keating. Jazza, take it away please. It's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. <sighs> Such a good singer. Amazing. This is amazing, Jerry. He just loves getting up early. Like just early, like I, I don't mind getting up early. Don't get me wrong, but you know when you've had a hard day of training and the next day you got the, the, the day off, he um seven o'clock, seven thirty, eight o'clock, he's just up. <sighs> he loves to sleep in. Um, I I like to get up nice. I like to get up early. It's just the way I, I, I go about things, and um, I can't have the TV on. And I can't do too much about it. Otherwise, I'll wake the champ up. So he likes his sleep in. His beauty sleep. This is the kitchen. Cool. So do you guys do a lot of cooking in here or? Um, sometimes. Mainly uh, eat out and we're in a rush or a bit lazy, a bit tired from training, so. So if you're really keen to impress somebody, what would you cook for them? Probably, yeah, just a steak and veggies. <laughs> or I could sneak up the Thai, buy some Thai and say, say I cooked it, so. <laughs> and pretend that you made <laughs> it. And pretend I cooked it, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm watching TV and I can hear this voice and it is just, it's not even singing, it's screaming out. I'm going, what's going on here? And I'm thinking, surround sounds on, what's happening? I put the TV on mute and it was Benny in the shower, top of his <laughs> lungs, screaming the song out. I was like, this place not serious, like, come on, man. Yeah, it's probably one, one of the downfalls of Benny. He loves singing, man, it gets so loud. I'm a pretty good singer. Um, I've got a lot of singing. I think Haynes is a bit jealous of that. So he likes to, to try and shut me down a bit. Um, but I think that's probably the thing that, you know, he. 
that's he irritates him the most about me. Come through. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. So this is my garden. Whoa, you guys sure like clover by the looks of it. Yeah, it's actually a competition in the, in the house. I'm seeing you can find the biggest one, so. Oh, cool. That's a bit exciting. It's, it looks a bit messy at the moment, so don't be discouraged. Who, who's that guy? Oh, that's my gardener. Hello. <laughs> Age 12. Oh, right. Yeah. Great. So you learn, learn his trade. It's uh, you know, a bit of an apprentice. Um, cup to anyone? Semi-finals in 2009. I think it might have been before the Canterbury Bulldogs game. Um, I, uh, I went in to have a little sleep, and I don't sleep for too long game day. I've just come out, I heard someone talking real quietly, and I've walked out, and I looked out, and Hainsy was looking at his life-size picture of himself, and I don't know, like, at the start, he was sort of mumbling, but then he sort of was going, come on. Big game, my big boy, let's go, let's lift. Let's lift, big game, big crowd. This is your moment. I didn't say, like, I was sort of carrying on. You're a liar. Can you just see my toilet? Calming down.